friend, I have this TP-Link access point. The model is TLWA801N, 300 Mbps wireless and access point. I'm just providing you the guideline for this, how to do the configuration and some little information for this, that how you can use it. There is a different kind of mode available on this access point, like access point, a range extender, client mode, and multi SSID. There is very best thing what is available in this uh, access point. This is passive PoE injector. This is passive PoE injector can support up to like if you are if you know have the power connection where you want the internet that you can use this power injector uh, up to a 50 Mbp 50 50 meter cables. With 50 meter cable, so you can use this injector and then you can fix this device there so you can get the internet. So if there is a no power outlet in that area where you want internet, you can connect only the cable, only the power uh, with this injector. Like you can see it, the, the DC power injector and then from PoE, PoE, from PoE to the, this device. You can see it without power that you can see the power is on now. You can see it. So you can use this up to 50 meter long cable that where you want where internet if there is a no power outlet. So you can use this without wire and with wire. Like if you want to use with wire, you can use as a access point. If you want to wirelessly, you can create a client mode and a range external mode that this device, this access point will connect with your main router. So for this, you can use the PoE to this device and LAN port to your main router. I'm just providing you how to do the configuration, how to change the wireless network name and password. And we can just uh, see what is the uh, more feature available in this access point. So I'm just connected with the line port. After that, I'm going to open the setting page in my laptop. Let's see. After that, I can see what is the IP for this so I can just click it here and network and internet right click and network and internet and local area if you have wireless wireless if your laptop no have the wireless uh, ethernet port ethernet port you can connect through wirelessly also you can see back of the device there is a wireless network name and password is written there default so you can connect you can see the wireless network name ssid in your mobile phone or any devices then the password should be here also you can connect to also through wirelessly so i'm just connecting with the wire cable so i can see here what is the ip address and even if you don't know what is the ip address and you want to open the setting page you can see back of the device there is a written tp link ap.net so this ip you have to open in browser so this ip is 192.168.0.254 so i'm just opening open it here 192.168.0.254 after 254 the first page will open here create a login password please remember this password if you want in future do some changing like wireless network name or anything you want to change it please remember this password keep the password which you always use or something like this that you will remember every time so if you forget it then you need to reset it reset you can see back of the device there is a small hole that you need to press put small pin inside the hole and hold it for 10 seconds and after that you will open the same setting page so i'm just creating a password here a password whatever whatever you want you can create it here but you cannot uh, forget it if you want you can Click it here, you will see what is the password, confirm password, confirm password and do the start option. After start, the first page will open, the quick start. Quick start, I don't need to do anything, just go to the next option. And here you can see the operation mode. Operation mode is access point, 
range extender, client mode, and multi SSID. If you want to create a multi SSID, that it depend on you that how many multi SSID you want to create it. And if you want to connect with the wire, you need to select as a access point. And then if you don't want, if you want with wirelessly, you need to select a range extender. And then you will see here all wireless list available. What you have from your this one. And then you can see here uh, there is a, a operation mode available here and here you can see the wireless setting also if you want to do some changing wireless network name and password you can see it here and DHCP setting you can see here client list how many devices are connected you can check it here and there is a system tool available that you need to if you want to upgrade that firmware you can upgrade it from here and factory reset is available here and if you want to change wireless uh, administrator username and password you can change it here so uh, this is the first access point and then here I can change the wireless network name and password I just want to keep it the same here is the more setting after the more setting you can see here there is a band 2.4 and there is a channel width i'm just not changing the channel width i'm changing only the channel for example if some of the device are unable to connect it or you have a wireless uh, coverage issue or device and speed issue or something like this you have to change the channel from here even this is the setting page and in in future if you want to change it you can go to the wireless setting wireless setting and you can change it channel also from here so channel 6 9 or 11 i can only suggest to you these three three channels 6 9 or 11 any of them that you can use it for your uh, this access point so here you can see it and i'm just changing channel channel 9 9 and then press the next button and there is a DHCP setting I don't want to use it keep it the default and then finish option after finish option my setting is done after setting you can see the PU injector this is the PU injector I'm just removing the cable from here and this is this is the LAN cable I'm just removing and connected with the, my, with the cable coming from your my router so I'm using this one and then you can see here the all three light is on if three light is on you can see I'm, I'm removing I'm removing my LAN is disabled I'm just fixing it it's enabled so it means my configuration is done and this is the way that you you can use this 801N as a access point and it's very easy to do the setup Hope you like my video, please subscribe my channel and like my video and press the bell icon. Thank you for watching.